How are we doing, everyone? On this video, we're going to go over on the MXQ by Leadbox. So right now we see the Buddha screen. Okay, so what we're going to be going over in this video, we're going to go over some of the applications as well, the preference and configurations. And so, you know, when you get the box for the first time, I'll go over uh, a few tips. Okay, so we see the Buddha screen screen beyond the launcher and we see these two type of ways we can choose we can choose the media box launcher or the launcher 3 I'm gonna go to uh, media box launcher and then we can click always or just once I'm gonna go just once because I want to show you the both ways and then you decide I'm gonna remote the screen that's why you see this but we're going to go right now into into the system. And we're going to hit the media launcher. And we're going to hit just uh, once. And here we go into the main screen. Normally, this is mostly the default and plenty of boxes. MSA. Any boxes running uh, 4.1 KiCad. Android with the normal applications on the default system we get Cori browsers uh, Google Plus so right now we're going to go into the preference we see the network there where we can choose the Wi-Fi for Ethernet either or the next one will be the display settings display settings not much to do here we can change um, HTML auto detection and if you want the screen to fade out I mean uh, never four minutes and the display position that's pretty important it's not gonna make any difference because I'm connected remote but it's always check because um, in there you can get out to minus and because you can always check see it around uh, on the screen because sometimes it's, it's zoom out so just give it some good calibration you know always check maybe 100 percent is okay maybe it needs to be 99 because it's zoom out so it's a good point to check before you're going to install any software because maybe there are a few things that are hiding from you and we go into the advanced settings advanced settings we here we get the HTML auto detect mouse config there's nothing to play around if you want you can do it uh, in auto detection in HDMI. So you can click on and it does uh, HDMI uh, pass through. That, if your system will be able to um, decode the information, now you can leave it off if you are not, if you are not sure. And then we're going to click into others here. We can see system updates and settings. Here is the system updates. Here we can wipe the whole system out. We can wipe the data. From here, I want to play around if you are not sure what you're going to be doing. And we can also reset as factory settings. This is only the only thing you're going to do this here. If you're planning to, or if your system is not working right, they get corrupt the system, or or you want to wipe and start everything from the beginning, that you're going to be pressing it. It's update. There's not going to be an update. I don't think the company is going to push any update. They're going to spend any money to keep updating. So practically, there's no way to click update. Here we see Android 4.2 running, and it run by Leebox. And here, most settings, there are a few things you can do. Not much. Uh, here we can look the display applications and then set your time and day because it's set to Beijing. So just click right there and set uh, whatever will be Eastern Time or whatever Europe. So you're going to set it right there and set to Beijing. And then uh, what else we got here? And then another one will be the uh, applications. Nothing there, nothing to play around. So we're going to go in, right into applications. 
and that's where you're going to install clean data you do it right from here so you want to install you want to uninstall any applications or clean the data I see Corey right there we can uninstall it or we feel like to clean data uh, Corey as well I want to click uh, clean data and Corey because you're going to lose all the information if you already have Corey and you not planning to restore everything then you're going to clean there so you got to make sure you know what you're doing so that's the only thing you're going to be doing in in all the settings normal applications let's look over some of the application not much it's pretty simple and we see netflix here uh, showbox and the normal 4.2 gallery maps you know but, uh, not much photo a few things you never use actually we really don't care what software comes with it because it, you can do update and again you can wipe reset the data i want to play with this around but technically who cares what application comes as uh, default you can always go into google play and reinstall or install any application uh, that you want sometimes the applications that come uh, install you never use so So this, yeah, this is just a simple applications, no match, you know, you got Google Chrome and everything. As you see right now, Hangout, Google Plus, this is all default application, Cloud TV, the music, just a normal, add-ons, uh, the browser and, and then the default, is the default application and by clicking the plus, you can add or remove application. At this point, I'm going to remove everything. The only thing I care in my box is to have a Cody, so I don't care the rest. So I clean everything out. So what we get now, I should get Cody. Only want to add, you click the plus, and you're going to add some more. On the next video, I'm going to show you uh, the next default screen. Remember, we'll boot up. We got two two ways to do it. So we're going to do. We're going to now go over on the second screen. So now we're gonna go and choose the launcher three, the second one. We're gonna click just once again because I want to be able to go back and decide it on. But if you like this one, and they said right there, it's more like um, a desktop screen. Kinda nice too. Uh, we got the browser, I see like the phone, Android. And right there you see all the applications that we went over before. It's kind of nice because you can see all the application at once. Let's make that disappear so we get more screen. And here we got the browser. It's pretty fast. It load up real fast. Give it a shot right there, see? Just load up. Nice. So it's a different screen and you can uh, put uh, all the applications. We, we got the browser here. I mean, the uh, Google Plus, I mean, uh, uh, Google Store, Play Store. This is a media player. And here we got the preference screen. So we go back to the other screen that we saw in the beginning. Same thing, we can do the display, network, settings, and and other settings. What is nice too, we can put some application right on the desktop. So we're going to click on it, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to hold it. And we're going to drag it like you're doing your phone, you hold it and then you drop in the screen. And if you uh, have any Android phone, so that's it, dump it right there. To uninstall it will be the same thing. We hold it, like you do in your phone. You hold it, and then you can go up and remove the application. So I'm going to grab Cody now, and I'm going to Cody right in the middle of the screen. I hold it, and you can put it anywhere you want it. So we dump it right there. Done. So kind of nice. Uh, with this, we conclude the video.
on the MXQ by Lee Box. If you guys have any questions, comments, make sure you drop the line and make sure you follow me. I try to update uh, once a week. Guys, thank you for your time. Bye.